David Hill, and today we're going to talk about hepatitis B vaccine side effects in infants. Now, a lot of people ask me, do I need to get my infant vaccinated against hepatitis B? They're not going to use IV drugs. They're not going to have sex with anybody. Why are we doing this now instead of later? And I want to start by saying that while we do understand how hepatitis B is transmitted in some cases, yes, IV needle sharing, uh, yes, sexual contact, many cases of hepatitis B, the means of transmission to the victim is completely unknown. Hepatitis B is a very easy virus to contract and it kills a lot of the people who contract it. Some people survive, but not everyone does. There are some treatments for it, but the treatments are not great. A lot of them don't work for everybody who gets them. So the only way to really protect people against hepatitis B is to get the vaccine. Why do we give it to infants? People say, do you really want to give my infant a vaccine before he or she even leaves the hospital? That's crazy. Well, it's not because this is the one that actually works that early. As the immune system matures, it takes some vaccines a while for the immune system to have matured to a point where the vaccine is effective. That's why we give them at the times that we do. Hepatitis B vaccine actually works that early and the risks really do start that early for contracting hepatitis B and even dying of the disease. So we want to protect infants starting on day of life one. Why? Because we can. So what do you want to be concerned about? What do you want to be on the lookout for when you're thinking about hepatitis B vaccine for your infant? Well, the most common reaction is probably pain at the injection site. That's not a big surprise. Vaccines do create an immune response. There can be some inflammation. That occurs in about one in every 11 children or adolescents who get the hepatitis B vaccine. The second most common reaction is to get a little bit of mild fever. Usually it's not over about 100, 101. It doesn't last more than a day or two, but that fever may occur in about one in 14 children or adolescents who get the vaccine. So be on the lookout for that. Now, I want to say a little something about fever in newborns right here. If your newborn has a rectal temperature greater than 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or greater than 38 degrees Celsius, you want to get that newborn to a doctor immediately. In the first three months of life, that may be a really emergent problem. So just because they got a hepatitis B vaccine yesterday doesn't mean that a fever today is okay in the first three months of life. After that, you can relax at least some about fever. Now, what about really serious side effects? The good news here is that serious side effects are incredibly rare from the hepatitis B vaccine. But what would you be looking for? You'd be looking for an allergic reaction. You can have an allergic reaction, of course, to just about anything that enters the body. And the signs of allergic reaction are fast heart rate, difficulty breathing, a red, itchy, raised rash all over the body, sometimes faintness or extreme irritability. Those are symptoms which, whether or not you got a hepatitis B vaccine, would be really alarming were they to occur. So your best shot is to call your baby's doctor immediately and let him figure out what's going on. It may have been the vaccine, it may have been something completely different, but that baby wants care regardless. Obviously, if your baby is having breathing trouble, you may even want to activate emergency medical services and get some help immediately. In the United States, you do that by calling 911. So, talking about potential reactions to the hepatitis B vaccine in your infant, I'm Dr. David Hill.